1997 Mazak Quick Turn 20 with T Plus Control. Coolant pan and pump. Chip conveyors over there on its side until we get it situated. The machine just arrived. Keypad looks in good condition. RS-232 port. Hours do not seem to be accurate. They're showing way too low for a 97 machine, so they most obviously have been reset. Well, there they are. Do a walk around. Back side of the tailstock in there. There's the cover. Take a look inside the electrical cabinet. This machine appears to be appears to be wired in low voltage also. 208, 230, three phase, 50, 60 hertz. Two thirty voltage. New in September of 1997. All the fans seem to be working fine. Set for a 8 inch Kitagawa 3 jaw hydraulic chuck, a B208 chuck, rated at 5000 RPM. See if we can get the serial number here. Kind of hard to see. One three one five five nine, September of ninety seven. the machine that will run the spindle. We'll start it out at a thousand RPM and then we'll bring it up from there to I think we'll do three thousand and then take it to five thousand. That's just under 3,000 there, about 2,900. Nice and quiet. 5,000. We'll move the axes here, X and Z axis. They're nice and quiet. There's our Z. There's our X. Try to get in a little bit closer here so you hear have a little bit better audible. Very quiet, don't hear any sound relevant to um, bearing or ball screw noise in either axis. We're going to 
to show the, the tool eye here. Though the sensor is not working and will need to be replaced, the arm coming down, back up fine. It's got a chuck foot pedal, allowing for the jaws to be actuated. Let's get a good angle here. See everything functions fine there. All right. Maybe we can go into the turret. Turret indexing. It's an eighth station turret. Directional. Working fine. And the last thing we wanted to see was the, the tail stock. It's a programmable or hydraulic tail stock on this machine. That's a 1997 Mazak Quick Turn 20.